Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, whereby we are going to interact, uh, learn and experience together. Today we are going to have our biology form 3, lesson 3, whereby your tutor will be Mr. Jared. We are going to handle the topic on classification 2 under the subtopic, the kingdom, Landai. Remember we have got uh, 5 kingdoms and in this lesson we are going to handle the uh, kingdom Landai. Uh, but before uh, we get deep into the lesson, we can have the following lesson goals. Whereby, uh, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to give the general characteristics of Kingdom Plantae. Um, the general characteristics, yeah, okay, normally the Kingdom Plantae normally belongs to, they are all plants. But now I am going to give the general characteristics of um, plants. That these are the characteristics that you can find across all, all uh, nearly in all the plants. Whereby, one, the first general characteristic, is, you can say that, they are eukaryotic and multicellular. Whereby them being eukaryotic, we say that uh, their organelles are um, bound, they are enclosed by a cell membrane. The second um, characteristic is that in most of them, the body is differentiated into leaves, stem, and roots. Uh, the, the other char characteristic is that their cells have cellulose cell walls. Another characteristic is that majority of our transport system, whereby uh, we can say the transport system is normally made up of the xylem and uh, the phloem. Uh, they are photosynthetic pigment and they are autotrophic. And uh, here we mean that uh, they can make their own food because uh, they, um, they make their own food through the phase of photosynthesis. Uh, another ca characteristic of plants is that Reproduction is both asexual and sexual. Uh, they show alternation of generations. Actually, uh, plants show alternation of generations. Uh, uh, this kingdom actually is divided into three main divisions, whereby the three main divisions are we have the bryophyta, the pteridophyta, and spermatophyta. Uh, In this lesson, we are going to look at one of the divisions, which is division bryophyta. Remember that we have said that. Um, Kingdom Planta is divided into three uh, divisions, whereby we have Bryophyta, Pteridophyta, and Spermatophyta. So uh, now I would like us to we'll look something on uh, Bryophyta, whereby we are going to look at the general characteristics of this uh, division. Uh, one is that they are thalloid, as in liverworts, or differentiated into symbol like and stem like structures, as in mosses. We can have examples of um, this Bryophyta. You can see the most plant here. So we have said that they are they are thalloid as in liverworts or um, differentiated into simple uh, leaf-like and stem-like structures as in mosses, as you can see from our diagram that is on our screen. Two, they lack a vascular transport system. When what we mean by this one is that uh, actually uh, the uh, the um, xylem and the phloem are not differentiated. Three, they contain chlorophyll ends are photosynthetic. You can see from our diagram, they are greenish in color. <laughs> and the greenish in color, what is this what we normally um, call the chlorophyll. And they can um, make their own food. They have developed rhizoids for anchoring and absorbing water together with the dissolved mineral salts. Um, the fifth... Um, the fifth characteristic of, or characteristic of this is that uh, they show alternation of alternation of generations. What we mean by this is that the gamete producing a gametophyte is a persistent plant. The spore producing sporophyte is born on the same uh, on the gametophyte on which it is dependent on. Um, the sixth uh, characteristic is that. Male gametes are produced by Anderidia and female gametes by Archegonia. The fertilization depends on availability of water. The bryophytes cannot fertilize if there is no water. So for fertilization to take place, uh, water must be available. So uh, actually most of these bryophytes, you can find them on uh, mostly on the rivers. Uh, the last uh, characteristic is that they are terrestrial, growing on damp uh, substratum. For example, you can get them also in rocks, walls, and uh, places where there is um, water around. Um, the second division of the Archegidon plantae is the Pteridophyta, whereby mostly this one um, did, uh, is concerned with the Pteridophytes. We can have examples of the Pteridophytes, whereby it is 
an example what, what the little fight is the fun and also we can have uh, another example which is the hostel the tadido fighter they show a wide variety from small types to giant tree uh, tree ferns or more than uh, whereby the plants they can be more than 10 meters tall they show greater ability to inhabit land uh, than uh, the kingdom that we have seen which is the bryophytes so we can have um, the general characteristic whereby one we are saying that they have roots stem and leaves but no flowers so these ones are a little bit differentiated but what they lack are only flowers as you can see from our diagrammatic representation that is the fun it has no flowers the second characteristic is that our leaves are compound with leaflets known as the pinna so you can see from our diagram the pinna are these leaflets which you are seeing they are very small the third characteristic is that they possess a um, clearly defined uh, vascular system so they are they are they, are, they have got um, a good vascular system whereby uh, the vascular system we have said that uh, it comprises of the xylem and the phloem. They possess chlor chlorophyll and are photosynthetic. Another characteristic is that they show alternation of generations where the sporophyte normally referred to as the pan plant is the dominant one while the sporophyte, uh, that is the gametophyte, sorry, is an independent minute art shaped structure called uh, prodalus. Another characteristic is that on the lower side of mature leaves, as you can see from our diagram, are bone spore bearing structures as you can see from our uh, diagram we are they normally are underneath the leaves we have got um we have got a, a, bo, a, sp a spore bearing structures another characteristic is that they show clearly defined sexual reproduction and uh, the lastly fertilization is independent of water that is to mean uh, it does not need water for them to fertilize Having done and said that, we can have the following activity whereby you are required to identify five general characteristics of Kingdom land life. For more information on this um, lesson, you can refer to KLB Secondary Students Book 3, which is the fourth edition Kenya Literature Bureau. And also to get this lesson and many more from our biology lessons, you can send us an SMS through the number that is on our screen or you subscribe to either YouTube uh, or Facebook uh, which, which are both Elimu TV or you can send us an SMS on our Twitter page which is Elimu TV underscore Kenya then let us subscribe to uh, learn more and um, we shall learn together thank you